Okay, another chord for you to get to know in um, gospel organ theory is called the I7 flat 5 flat 9. Okay, um, again, we're going to use C so you can see the concept, but you're going to have to tr transfer it to other keys. And then maybe someday I'll do videos and just, you know, just do a whole, all the keys on a particular chord. But try not to keep the videos too long. Um, what you have again is C. The major scale for C is all white notes, okay, from C to C. And you count it up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One okay, each note gets its own number, C being one at the bottom and one at the end. You have uh, set, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, um, the chord is called C7. All right, whenever you just hear a seven in the chord, like when they name a chord and they say seven, then they're not talking about the seven that's in the scale. Okay, they have to say major seven if they want the seven in the scale. So if they just say 7, then it's a flat 7. So in this case, B is your 7, seventh note in the scale. So B flat would be the um the 7 that they're talking about. And this is a, a I7, so I being the 1, and it, we're in C, so it's a C7. So 1 is my root, the bottom of the chord that everything's built off of. Then it's every other note. So I skip the 2, hit my 3. Skip the 4, hit my 5. So I got C, E, G, flat 7. Okay, but the chord is a C7 flat 5 sharp 9. So I have to flat the 5. Now I got C, E, G flat, B flat. Okay, and then the 9 would be considered, it's just a 2, which is D, an octave up. Because if you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is just a repeat of the 1, and then 9 would be the 2, an octave up. Okay, so. And in this case, 2 being D, but the chord is a flat 9, so then I take it down to D flat, okay? So the whole chord is C, E, G flat, B flat, D flat, okay? Now, um, this voicing, I'm going to take the flat 5 out from the middle of the chord and put it at the top, okay? And then I resolve it. I don't know if it's considered a resolve, but I move it by moving the flat five to a regular five, okay? And that's the movement, and C is at the root, so. Okay, so like if I was in the key of E flat, and I was playing my uh, six, which the C would be six, that's when I would use that chord. That's one, one way of using the chord. And then I went to the two, and E flat. Ultimately, you're gonna learn every key is related to every key. There's, there's no, there's infinite um, ways to play music, and you can go in and out of every key. Some work better and sound better with others, but you can go in and out of every key while playing a song that belongs to one particular key. And you can do it, and you can make it sound good. And that's that's what this journey is all about in learning music. Um, all right. So there's your chord, the I. I seven flat five flat nine. Okay? And then take that flat five out, put it up top. Mm -hmm.